they're always hungry. Bed bugs are attracted to us by the uh, carbon dioxide in our breath and also the heat from our bodies are two very important cues. The adults can be seen with the naked eye, but the nymphs are practically invisible. There's a nymph here, and it's starting to feed right now. As the nymphs feed, they turn red with blood. Pretty plump. But the nymphs are born equipped with a highly specialized weapon, an elongated mouth called a stylet. It's shaped like a miniature hypodermic needle. There are mouth parts a very unique tool, uh, perfectly specialized for feeding on blood. After finding a capillary, it pierces the skin quickly and efficiently, inflicting no pain. The bed bug's host never even wakes up. They produce saliva, which acts as an anesthetic and also as an anticoagulant. Using its hollow stylet like a straw, the insect drinks its host's blood, nearly doubling in size. After feeding, the engorged bed bug retreats to its hiding place. In about seven days, it will emerge to feed again. Bed bugs molt four times before becoming adults that are ready to mate and start the process all over again. Many of the telltale signs of bed bugs are shed skins, fecal droppings, which is digested blood, and also dead bed bugs. Bed bugs, once they're in your home, they may not just stay in the furniture or in the bed. They'll crawl behind pictures. They'll go in electric outlets and switches. In fact, since they're as thin as paper is thin, they can readily hide in almost any crack or crevice. If you suspect bed bugs in your home, uh, a good inspection is required. 